This is Betty Hughes for CDX Technologies. And we'd like to show you how you can filter a large address list in Microsoft Excel in order to find only those addresses within a particular radius area. This can really be useful for identifying possible customers for a new store, for example, or really for designing any kind of direct mail campaign. So in this worksheet, we have a list of address information. We're using a couple of dozen addresses here, but this whole process is really tailor-made for very long address lists. And as we go through it, we'll show you a couple of techniques that will help you deal with long lists of data in Excel. So let's say we want to identify which of these addresses are within a five-mile radius of the zip code 48906. First, we're going to go to a brand new worksheet. And in this first cell, we right-click. And from the drop-down menus, we select a special function called CDX Radius. An input box pops up. And all we need to do is input our target zip code, 48906 and also the radius distance of five miles. Click OK. And in the first column is the list of return zip codes within the five mile radius. The first one is our target zip code. And in the second column is the distance from the target. The zip code 48924, for instance, is 2.96 miles from the target zip. Now, before we go back to the address list, we need to do one more thing here. We're going to select all the return data and define this as a range. So select Insert from the toolbar, Name, Define, and we'll call this range a zip list. So let's go back to the address list. And we're going to put a new heading in column E. We'll call it Distance. And in the first cell, we're going to input a lookup function that basically asks if the zip code in this first row can be found in the list we just created in the other worksheet. So in the cell, we type equal VLOOKUP, parentheses, and we're looking for the first zip code in cell D2. We're looking for it in the range we just defined in the other worksheet called zip list. And if it is found, we want the distance from the target zip returned to this cell. So we put two here, indicating this data is in the second column of the zip list range. Finally, we type false indicating we want to find an exact match. Then close parentheses. And after hitting Enter, it looks like the zip code was found in the other list, and it's 3.72 miles from the target zip. Now all we have to do is copy this formula down the list. And here we come to our first tip. Instead of copying and pasting, which can be a pretty awkward process for a long address list, we're just going to click on this first cell then place the cursor at the bottom right-hand corner of the cell until we see a cross like this. Then just double-click. The lookup formula is automatically copied all along the list until it comes to an empty row at the end. One thing worth mentioning here, when you're using the lookup function, you must make sure that the zip code data here is formatted just like the data in the other worksheet. Since the CDX radius function always returns data as text, the zip codes here must also be formatted as text. So it looks like there are several zip codes in this list that are within a five mile radius. Any zip code not within five miles has an NA next to it. Now it's easy to find these zip codes in a short list like this, but for a really long list, it's a good idea to use Excel's auto filter feature. Just select the zip code heading, then go to the toolbar at the top and select data, then filter, then auto filter. You'll see filter arrows have been added to all the headings. We're going to filter based on distance. So from here, we select custom, then is greater or equal to, and then input zero. Click OK. And the auto filter displays all the rows of data greater or equal to zero, in effect, showing us all the addresses found within the five mile radius. So this is a great example of how we can use the CDX radius function in conjunction with Excel to easily filter lots of address data. If you'd like more information or would like to try a free demo, please go to www.cdxzipstream.com.